I'd like to build a little 3.3 volt power supply for testing things on my breadboard. So I'll look in my junk pile for an old cell phone charger that we can adapt for this purpose. Here's one from Samsung and here's another one from Apple that we can try. Here's the circuit diagram for this. We have 5 volts coming in from our cell phone charger. We have the regulator here which converts the 5 volts to 3.3 volts. We have a couple of filter capacitors and an LED indicator here with a series current limiting resistor. In reality uh, you could probably build this with just the voltage regulator. You could get away with out even having the capacitors and the LED indicator is optional. So it's a very, very simple circuit. Let's go take a look at the spec for the voltage regulator before we proceed. This is the LD1117 series. We're going to use the 3.3 volt regulator, which is designated as LD33V. And this is a low dropout voltage regulator. It says that the dropout voltage is 1 volt, typically. Let's just take a quick look at the pinout of this thing. Here it is here, this is what it looks like, so it's sort of an odd pinout, ground on one end and V out in the middle. Okay, so let's first quickly build this on a breadboard so we can test it out with our cell phone chargers. First I have it up and running with just the bench top power supply and I'll check that the dropout voltage is about a volt above 3.3 volts and as you can see when I turn it down to about 4.2 to 4.3 volts it starts to drop out. Here I'm going to cut the end off the Samsung charger, hook it up to the breadboard with about a half amp load and as you can see it seems to work. Next I'm going to cut this lightning connector off the end of the Apple cable and I'll test it out with the breadboard circuit as well. As you can see this seems to work with a half amp load also. Next I'm going to put the whole thing together on a small piece of vector board using the Samsung power supply. I opted to use the Samsung charger because the wires are a little thicker and more robust. Here's the vector board almost complete. We'll just hook it up to the multimeter and check that it's working. And there you go, we're getting around 3.3 volts. So everything is as it should be. So we'll just trim the circuit board and it's project complete. This was a very quick and cheap build. When you consider that the cell phone charger was free, a scrap of vector board is free, it's a dollar or two for the voltage regulator wherever you got it, and just pennies for the other parts. So I'm really happy with this build, and I'm really happy with the cost and the way it worked out. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, and I hope you did, please like and subscribe on YouTube and Instructables. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now.